Hello everybody and welcome to Tell Me About Gaming. Sit back, relax, and open up your ears because today I'm going to be telling you guys my top 5 favorite games of 2016. However, to mix things up a little and make this video a bit more unique, I decided to split up the games by genre. That way you guys will get to see a more diverse range of games, and hopefully this list will make you guys aware of games that you previously did not know about. With that being said, let's get into it. So guys, as always, just keep in mind that this list is personal opinion, and I'm sure many of you will disagree with it. If you do, and you think that I left out a game that should have been in here, make sure to let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, all the games featured on this list are games that I have played. So anyway, with that being said, let's start talking about them. First up, we're going to talk about my favorite FPS game of the year, and that award goes to Titanfall 2. Now this game was a huge surprise for me, I personally was not a huge fan of the first game, and because of that, I really was not that excited for the sequel. Once I got my hands on it though, my mind quickly changed. The single player was a great addition, and I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the characters were great, the story was interesting, and the Titanfall universe was a really cool world to learn more about. Not only that, the multiplayer was spot on for me, it was fast, responsive, and most important of all, it was fun. They fixed most of my issues with the first game, added more customization, provided more reasons to keep playing the game, and overall just created a fun and addictive game. So for those reasons and more, that is why the game quickly became my favorite FPS of the year. Now if you guys want to hear more of my thoughts about it, I actually did a video a while back discussing the game, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. It's about like an 8 or 9 minute video, I think, and you'll get to hear even more of my thoughts in regards of Titanfall 2. Next up on the list, let's talk strategy games, and in specific, let's talk about Total War Warhammer, my favorite strategy game of 2016. Now I think it's worth saying that I am not a big fan of strategy games. In fact, it's one of the only genres in gaming that I typically don't mess with, so the fact that I enjoyed Total War Warhammer as much as I did was a great surprise. The PvP in the game is quite fun, and I think strategy lovers will really enjoy that part of the game, but for me, however, the campaign is what I loved about Total War. The universe is very interesting, the pure amount of mechanics and features in the game is ridiculous, and the straight up mayhem that are the battles are just absolute fun. Put cooperative features on top of that so you can play the game with a friend, and you have a super fun game with an insane amount of gameplay possibilities, and some amazing combat that not only you can experience alone but also with a friend, and you have a fantastic game by the title of Total War Warhammer. This was one of the few games in which I kept going back to play this year, and it was certainly the only strategy game that I went back to play this year, and for that reason I'm giving it my award for the best strategy game of 2016. Alright everyone, so now let's talk about RPG games, and more in specific, let's talk about Stardew Valley. So hear me out for a second, I know that Stardew seems like a weird game to consider as an RPG, but personally, I think it is. You play as a character that you have control over, when it comes to choices and how you play, there's progression, there are ways to interact with the universe, and plenty more features that you would typically find in an RPG game. If you guys disagree and think that Stardew Valley is certainly not an RPG, make sure to let me know in the comments below and tell me why. I would love to hear your thoughts. But as I said, in my opinion, I think it is an RPG, so that is why it's on the list under this category. So, Stardew Valley was a game that I had no clue existed until its release, and I think that was the same for a lot of people. At its core, the game is actually quite simple. You get a farm, you take care of it, and you live your life. But the beautiful thing about Stardew Valley is just how much more there is to the game than just that. The characters and the world are so well built, there are so many different things to do and so many different ways to play the game, and it's plain out a game that you can spend hundreds of hours with and never get bored. If I was to sit here and explain every reason why I love Stardew Valley and why it's my favorite RPG game of the year, we would be here for countless hours, so instead I'm just going to say this, if you guys have not played Stardew Valley yet, you should really, really give it a try. So now let's talk about the best early access game of 2016, and let's talk about my favorite early access game of 2016, and that is Battle Right. So early access games are quite a weird area of gaming, a lot of people disagree with its existence, and a lot of the time it's for good reason. So many times we've seen developers start early access projects that they never finish or abandon, or that they simply stop caring about. With that being said, however, there are some developers here and there that seem to understand and get it right and treat their customers well. 
and I think the team behind Battle Riot is one of those groups. Battle Riot is one of the most polished and fun early access games that I have ever played. Now obviously there are some issues and not everything is perfect, but that's the real point of early access. The devs actually seem to be listening to their community, they are taking care of their game, and they are plain out building a fun and unique experience. Battle Riot, for those of you who do not know, is a battle arena game, so pretty much imagine Dota or League of Legends, shorten the games by about 90%, put every character at their max level, and you have Battle Riot. It's a very addictive, competitive, and fun game, and it's a great early access title, and for those reasons and more, it is my favorite early access game of 2016. So finally guys, it's time to talk about my favorite overall game of 2016, and the award goes to Overwatch. Now before all of you start yelling at me or slapping me silly, please let me explain real quick. Overwatch is certainly not my favorite game that I've ever played, in fact I don't even think it's in my top 10. However, 2016 for me was kind of a lackluster year, there really was not many games that came out that I actually went back to play or that I actually enjoyed putting countless hours in. Now with that being said, Overwatch was one of the very few. Even though I think there are some balance issues within the game and that it is sometimes just a little bit annoying to play, it's one of the few games this year that I actually kept going back to play with friends that I actually took competitively and that actually had some really cool holiday events that you could get into the holiday spirit with. Overall, I certainly don't think that Overwatch is the best game ever. However, it is a game that I extremely enjoyed and it is one of the few games in 2016 that when thinking about what my favorite overall game was, that came to mind. So for that reason, and for many more reasons, and for reasons that I can't even explain, that is why Overwatch is my favorite overall game of 2016. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. If you disagree with any of the games on this list, or if you think that I missed out on some great games, Make sure to also let me know in the comments below. I love hearing what types of games you guys like. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I apologize if my voice sounded a little bit weird in this video. I'm not feeling the best. But anyway, guys, if you do like this type of content, make sure to stick around the channel for more. I do it all the time, and I'll see your beautiful minds in the next video.